Welcome back, guys. This is going to be part 22, I believe. Uh, we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last part. We have just spoken with Sebastian's uncle uh, regarding his use of an unforgivable curse to save his sister. Now, we're going to go talk to Sebastian again. And we're going to go see what he has to say and how how he's feeling about it because uh yeah i think he's gonna be a bit upset he's gonna be a bit but it's it's a it's a tricky one he was defending his family he was defending his sister but he used immoral tactics Speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feltcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Wonderful. So, we're going to have to wait to hear from him again. We heard from Poppy fairly quickly. Um, however, there is only one more unforgivable curse left. And I don't think we're going to be able to do it anytime soon. I do think that's going to be something that comes later on. So, let's have a look at our quests. Talk to Poppy, or should we do some? Let's talk to Poppy, see what she has to say, and then we'll go. We'll go ahead and do a main mission. So we need to go to Hogsmeade, and it's right by the fast travel. So that's cool. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. 
Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Okay, so we're actually going with Poppy now. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Yes, let's not agitate her. So I just need to quickly review my spells. Um, I think that's that'll do. Um, my combat spells. Um, I think I might use this one. She did make it home safely. Oh wow. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Okay, cool. So I, d I don't know I don't know if this dragon's going to attack us or not. I don't think it will. Um hopefully when we return the egg it might be a little bit nicer to us as well. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten, usually. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How lucky for us. That's very unnerving. <laughs> Watch your step. Or just raring for a fight. So, am I just, do I have to, yeah, I think, I think I have to sort of move in between the fire. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Welcome. It's a 
listen what did to you me expect? You ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that opening below. I promise I'm nice, please don't burn me. She's leaving! Quickly! Brilliant. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Prepare. <laughs> That's very meta commentary. <laughs> Why is every bridge here broken? Because we're in a game, love. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Oh, I kind of wanted to keep the egg. That would have been cool. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again shall we head back i'm ready if you are I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? So that was a nice quick one. Nice, uh... Quick little thing, little quest there. So we can go, we've done quite a bit with Sebastian. So I think we'll go and speak with Amit and we're gonna need, cause he speaks a gobbledygook. So we're gonna go meet Lodgok. Is that where I need to go? Yes. So I still don't trust uh, Lodgok. I definitely think um, I definitely think he's in league with Ranrock. So let's speak to Armit. See what he has to say. Hello, Armit. Do I recall you saying that you speak Gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Sorona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. 
If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Uh, Lord Glock is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. So I've traveled to the closest one that we have, uh, and our meet is going to meet us there. So do we do we take high wing or do we take a broom? It's quite far away, so I'm going to take high wing. Let's go! Come on, high wing. This place has seen better days. If. I remember rightly, I think, I think the brooms are faster, but the, 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 the mounts can go higher. So like you can cover, um, you can cover more ground, but they are slightly slower. But I think cause you're higher up, it feels quicker. Slow down now. There we go. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. 
I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. I still don't trust him. Every time something's happening, uh, every time it sort of requires any hard work, he doesn't want to be there. And he's very... He's very concerned about Ranrock knowing what he's up to things like that. So I... I looking at us. I do still think he's in league with Ramrock. I'm not gonna lie. Just a hunch, but Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. So yet again, I'm gonna have to get rid of some gear. Um I keep picking it up and then not um, needing it, so. Oh. So yeah, these like these ones that don't really add anything. I can just sort of get rid of. Um, that should be enough now. But I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Can bring up. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. So yeah, we're going down into a goblin mine or a vault or I think it's a mine so there's I think there's going to be all kinds of puzzles interesting okay Oh, I'm stupid. I've read about mines like this. See, something else. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. I'll be quiet. Yeah, so as you can see, my stealth hasn't gotten any better. So hopefully he does a bit of... Uh I'm sorry about that, buddy. Um, it was supposed to be a lot more...
I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. <laughs> Let's take a look around, Arnie. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. Ravelli. What could they be building? That's that's why we're here, mate. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Someone there? Hello? There's no talents. Oh, yeah, so we actually managed to do That's something. Unfortunately, imagine those goblins to be brilliant and kind. Just take all their stuff. Why not? And then, do we need to get down? Yes. There should be some stairs just here. Rebellion. But where to go? Good for you. There's nothing up there. Um. Ah. Or is this the way we came? Did we come this way? Yes, we did. Oh, I'm an idiot. Right. Let's think about this. So this is the way we came in. Then we went up these stairs. And then we came in here. There's nothing in here. And then this is just a way back down. Revelio. <laughs> okay. Is this the way we came in? No, perfect. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Good. I deserve better than patrol duty. Okay, don't get seen, don't get seen. Rebellion. So they are all looking away at the moment. Okay, so we can't climb up there. Aye. I know, mate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Another boiler. This could be more complex than I had expected. I'm sorry, Army. I, I apologise. I pulled you into all this crap, and now we're kind of stuck. <laughs> I wonder if 
the boiler powers the lever. I suppose it must. I love our meat's enthusiasm. Well, I'm really glad I, I went through all of that just for a blank square frame. That's nice. The boiler activated that handle. See it? Oh yes. Thank you. Go. Devil snare. Not an entanglement we need right now. No. Okay, so there's going to be some more loyalists. Should be able to climb that. Fancy myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. Oh, I didn't even mean to. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. So, oh, the goblins are quite difficult, to be honest. They're a lot harder than the, um, the poachers. You hope. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodcock what we found. So they're drilling, they're drilling for, um, quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. obviously they're, they're trying to get the ancient magic 
and they're they're clearly they're drilling to do it, but big big drills that are gonna cause loads of harm and nasty things. Yeah, so he is right. There's got to be a quick way out of here. Oh, I got it. Need to turn this on. Yeah. Perfect. We love a lift. You came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I wish you could cast spells while you're running because sometimes, like, I want to pick up Moonstone and things like that, and he stops. <laughs> he, like, stands still to cast it. Which can be a little bit annoying, especially if you, if you want to We're do something. Out of here, Omit. Look! The lift. If you want to do something quick. Indeed. Right, let's get out of here. I still don't trust Lodgok, but we're going to go see what he says. Talk about what that wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. I like Army. I think he's funny. Um, he's not cut out for this lifestyle. He's definitely uh, intellectual. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Randrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. 
berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. So there we go, there's another quest done. I'm still not sure of Lodgok. I mean, that story he just told was very, very sad. And obviously we know it's Professor Fig's wife. So yeah, it's very sad. It was very believable, but I don't know. There's still something about him that I just can't shake. But I'm gonna give him the I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, he seems like he's genuinely on our side. Um, and yeah, I, I, felt, I feel a bit bad for him. I do feel a bit bad for him. Because he sound, by the sounds of it, he genuinely cared about her to some extent. Um, I know they didn't have like a great, like uh, an extensive relationship, but... Um, yeah, I do get the impression that he cares about he cared about her. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. So I'm gonna listen to what Sebastian has to say, but we are running out of time, so we may not be able to go fully into this quest. But I am interested in hearing what he has to say. So we'll li we'll hear him out, and then we'll move forward. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it. The way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you.